hello everyone welcome back today in this video i'm going to install the wheat into the vue.js laravel so basically if you want to install the wheat in the vue.js application so you need to install the latest version of the vue.js and it will be installed by default so you don't need to do anything and view it is a uh, very faster than webpack and i installed this uh, earlier so you need to just install the vue.js and it will be added into your project but what if uh, you want to add this into the laravel with the vue.js so you need to install this uh, wheat into your project right so by default the plugin is added into your wheat project but you need to install the wheat other uh, requirements into your project so that's why i came here and i'm going to do this in the live environment and i have um, uh, i came with this blog and i always follow the follow the simpler way so people can understand it and then implement this in the, into your own way okay so this one is written by this techvblogs.com and it's very uh, pretty straightforward so first you need to install the project you can install it using composer or you can install this globally i'm a big fan of this composer and then i'm going to do other steps so first let's go here and i open this out here so just install this composer create uh, project okay composer create project and then you need to specify the laravel okay and then here you need to specify your project name so i'm going to defining this uh, wheat with uh, um, vue.js okay view and uh, laravel view and laravel so basically wheat is a front-end bundler for the Vue.js or for the bootstrap so it's added in the laravel 9 and by default it's contain the wheat plugin so you don't need to install the plugin so it's mentioned here in this blog but it's already installed into the laravel 9 application but if you are running laravel 8 or laravel 7 and you want to add this wheat so then you need to install the laravel uh, wheat plugin because it's a required you need to install this wheat plugin and this provides you a refresh functionality so when you save any of your files it will be automatically refresh your web page automatically by doing this automatically auto loading so you don't need to manually refresh your web page okay it's installing the project and uh, after this uh, it will be installed successfully i'm coming back okay our application is installed successfully so then we need to go inside this project so it would be a v2 oops v2 with uh, view and uh, laravel let me type it correctly okay and then here you need to then install the npm install so let's go here and you can view this here right so let me go back here npm install so we are doing this also for the webpack so basically it's uh, going to install the npm and then it's going uh, this is going to compile these uh, file using uh, wheat okay and uh, next step you need to install the loader uh, for the vue.js and then you need to install this plugin but in our case this is installed so don't worry i'm going to do this with the step by step so first we install our project so you can install this so uh, uh, by globally installing the laravel and then you need to install this npm and then third you need to install this loader and let me view this here and yes this is installed uh, successfully and here you need to paste this third command so basically it's going to install the vue.js loader for us okay so it will be asked how to install uh, very quickly so let's uh, wait for a moment to complete this process okay our vue.js loader is installed successfully and uh, why it's added in the new line because i double enter on it you can add this uh, view this space here and then you need to install this uh, via wheat plugin but it's already added in the laravel 9 so we don't need to do this so let's go here and let's uh, open this package.json file and this json contain this uh, dev for building the wheat and this uh, contain this plugin right which is 0 0.5.0 so we don't need to install this out and then you need to go to your wheat.js and you need to add your vue.js into your uh, into your wheat config so if i go here and let's close this out so in your 
project at the last so here this would be replaced with the webpack so now this will come with the v.js.config okay so here you need to first add the uh, basic stuff first let me explain this this one is for configuration this is for wheat plugin and then this one is loading the assets and this one is uh, used for refreshing your web page uh, with auto refresh okay when you save this file so it will be automatically refreshed okay and then you need to add the view uh, view of in, into this plugin because we want to install the view js also okay let's save this one and it will compile this one and uh, then you need to run this npm run dev uh, if you are running this uh, for if you want to run this for the development purpose you need to run this npm run dev or if you want to run this in the production server so then you need to run the uh, in the older version with the webpack you need to run the npm run prod but uh, in the new version with the wheat you need to run the npm run build and it will create a build directory into your public folder okay so it says that uh, config error when starting dev server cannot read plugin okay we need to install this read plugin again so now let's go here and let me install this out okay it uh, comes with the default larval i don't know why it's not picking this out uh, maybe it's uh, for the view js also we need to install this in the view js that's why it's requiring this read plugin so i'm going to install this out and then i'm going to compile this again okay it's done and then npm run dev so now it's going to compile these uh, assets and yes it's running and then what's next you need to uh, go to your go to your app.js file and you need to add this stuff for creating the view instances so and yes it's running successfully and if i go to my project go to this resources directory which contain a js directory which contain an app.js and just to remove the bootstrap under the top and paste your stuff so oops i paste, copied the wrong thing so paste this out here so basically we are requiring the bootstrap we are getting uh, loading the view and creating an app instances right so this app is we are going to use this into our blade file okay then you need to create the view file okay so i'm going to do this in the js directory so we can also call the pages directory here but i'm not going to do this i'm doing this for the demonstration purposes just call this app.view and uh, paste your template uh, sample here so you need to add this into your template so you can render whatever you want but we are doing this for demonstration purposes and then you need to add this app and for this uh, compiling these assets so now let's uh, uh, go to our views so this contain a welcome which is uh, which comes by default with the laravel i'm not going to add any new view blade i'm going to do this into this uh, welcome blade so i'm going to make this uh, empty for you because I'm, i want to make this simpler for you okay remove this one and here i'm going to add a body tag okay body uh, my text reader is taking too much time so i'm going to add this uh, uh, manually body and then i'm going to add this like this okay so here you need to add the first uh, view app instances here so basically we are creating a app we are getting uh, we created an app instances that's why we are rendering it here oops div okay why it's not suggesting me it's taking too much time so let me do it manually so here div oops what it's doing man okay and here you need to call your app id which we created in the app.js file and then you need to add your these files so basically this is used for compiling our assets so in the laravel mix you are using this uh, like uh, asset and uh, oops let me type this asset correctly and then you are loading this css slash app dot css or you are executing this uh, mix dot this one but this is the weird syntax you don't need to do this like this you need to just uh, add the blade uh, directive wheat and then you need to specify your files okay and then if you want to execute this for the js 
ready to add this or the js file like this here okay and you can also add them at the at once by using this um, array and then you need to pass the second here for the js like this but i'm going to do this separately okay remove this commands this is for the css this is for the js so now let's save this one and go here and check that if there is any step is remaining no there is no step so now let's go here and run our server so here i'm going to uh, close this out our files are compiled so i'm not going to do anything more speed prt sun serve and here i'm going to open this local host 8000 because we are running our Vue.js with the laravel and we open the app in our welcome blade and this uh, local host 8000 is uh, going to open the welcome blade okay and it's going to run our server so let's uh, take eye on this and yes it's uh, going to open this out to okay it's showing the error that to uh, wheat manifest to not found okay now it's uh, running like this right so if i go here and now i'm going to run this uh, my server here right now let's uh, go here and uh, run this again refresh it okay it's uh, not running okay let's uh, wait for a moment to run this out and yes now it's running it's already added and our app is added so now let's uh, go ahead and open the console so if you are facing any error so you can open the console and javascript error will be there so here i have opened this console and it says uncaught reference require is not defined in app.js now let's go to the app.js this one and yes it's uh, throwing due to this uh, bootstrap issue so let's uh, comment this out because in this case uh, we are not going to use this bootstrap and if you want to use uh, bootstrap just uh, import this like import uh, bootstrap and it will work like a charm so if you want to do this with the require so you need to add the constant at the top and then this is this going to work so i save this file and i did not refresh but it's going to automatically refresh the web page and yes now it is playing from the view component that how to install the view 3 with the laravel 9 and without any error so if i go here let's close this out and go to this welcome blade and here i'm going to change this uh, uh, laravel 9 uh, i did not save this one and if i press this uh, control oops uh, control plus s so it's going to instantly save our file and our this uh, page is reloaded automatically so this is uh, due to this uh, white uh, wheat js so many of the developers pronouncing this as uh, white but this is not white it's a wheat so hope you get an idea that how you can install this wheat into your Vue.js application and you can also do this into your any of the spa like laravel breeze so it will be automatically installed into this breeze so i will also shoot this video so stay connected for this series and if you want to regular get the regular tips about the laravel subscribe the youtube channel and get regular tips at 11 am according to the gmt5 so i will meet you in the next one bye, -bye.